Hi there folks, I'm just gonna walk you through a, a few of the plans that we have set up for this coming Sunday. Uh, this is Mike uh, talking to you, and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what you can expect uh, when you arrive here this, uh, uh, this Sunday for our first service as we reopen after this uh, uh, shutdown. So we're gonna have the doors propped open like this. You don't have to touch anything on your way in. As you come in, you're gonna see things that you've seen before. Uh, we have arrows on the floor. Uh, right away, there'll be a spot here for you to sanitize your hands. Uh, we have face masks available for those of you who would like to have one and who don't have one. And uh, I'll explain a little bit more about that in, uh, in a few minutes. So as you come in, uh, we're gonna ask you not to uh, mill around in the lobby. Uh, the, if you would like to stand around and talk with people, we'd ask that you please do that outside where the air is fresh and where we don't have people who are going to be have to pass too close to each other to, uh, uh, to, get, to get through. Uh, you'll see over on the side, uh, we have a few X's on the floor. You know what that means. This is a place to stop and wait uh, your turn to get to the bathroom. And uh, there's a, just a, something new that we're, uh, we set up here. So as you come into the bathroom, you'll see that uh, we have a sign on the wall here that says, please wipe. Uh, the taps, sink, and toilet seat with disinfectant wipe before leaving. So we have these uh, disinfectant wipes there. Uh, would you please take one out and wipe things down and then uh, wipe down the, 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 the tap and uh, obviously we don't have to touch things here because of the uh, because it's motion activated, which is fancy fancy, but uh, anything you do touch we'd ask that you wipe it down before you leave. And just toss that in the trash as you go out. Uh, you can leave the light on, uh, leave the door open behind you as you go. And uh, then as we come into the auditorium, uh, the, the arrows continue. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ask that you uh, walk, as you come in, to walk down the center aisle, and as you leave, to use the side aisles. So there are arrows uh, pointing, reminding you of that. They're not particularly uh, uh, visible. They, we, you can see them when you're looking for them, but uh, we, we do want to minimize the amount of people who are crossing each other's paths, and so that's what these arrows will help us do. Um, as we come in, you can see that we've removed a lot of the chairs. Uh, we have 120 chairs set up right now, and a capacity in the, in the room of 50 people. So that means there's lots of extra chairs, and in between each row of chairs, there's already two meters of distance. So uh, you can have uh, a, one person or two people or four people, even if they're in the same household, sitting at each of these benches of each row. And uh, there will be uh, plenty of room for everyone to fit in. Uh, we would ask that as you come in, that you make your way towards the front and don't, don't fill up the back first. And uh, so you'll even see that the very front row, we've completely removed it just to have a little bit more space uh, between the, the worship team that's in the front and the front row of seats. Uh, now, what I mentioned about masks, uh, what we are going to be doing is uh, following the instructions of the Brethren Assemblies and uh, some instructions from our own MNA. Uh, we are allowing singing, uh, but we are requesting, we're actually requiring that you wear a mask if you sing out loud. And the reason for that is that singing is... Uh, uh, does uh, project quite a bit more aerosol is uh, uh, so we're talking about a little bit of spray that comes out of your mouth while, while you're singing and so we want you to keep that to yourself not share it around and so um, if you wish to sing out loud you do need to wear a mask uh, if you don't want to wear a mask we're simply going to ask that you not sing out loud you can sing in your heart and that would just fine as well but if you wish to sing out loud you're welcome to do that with a mask on and uh, then, like I said, as we, as we leave, there's arrows going out. So we'll ask you to, uh, to follow the arrows as, as you leave as well. And uh, uh, after the service, if you wish to, to chit-chat and uh, uh, catch up with people, that's great. We're going to ask that you do it outside. Uh, we don't want to have people milling around indoors. Uh, we really want to encourage, uh, once, once we're finished uh, with our meeting, for people to move on outside and to do their talking outside. There's lots of grassy areas. It's, uh, uh, it looks great out there. And so uh, we would uh, just request that if you, uh, now once you're finished, just to, to move on out so that people don't have to walk past you, squeeze past you or anything like that. Uh, I also would like to ask that we save uh, the, these rows uh, right close to the, to the elevator door for anybody who needs to use the elevator. So uh, if you, uh, as you come in, please uh, don't sit down right away in these chairs, leave them for people coming in through the elevator. All right, 
So uh, we're really looking forward to uh, meeting in person again this coming Sunday. I think it's going to be great. It's, uh, uh, it's been a long time and uh, there are some real changes. We're trying to figure this out as we go. So uh, we, nobody has experience uh, getting one of these uh, church services started again. But uh, for those of you who can't be with us, who aren't registered in, in our 50 people, uh, we are still going to continue live streaming. And uh, we have a plan in place for next week to have uh, um, the, the service uh, sent downstairs as well uh, via video. And so uh, we'll be able to increase our capacity with 50 people upstairs and another 50 people downstairs starting next week if all goes according to plan. So that is the plan for this coming Sunday and for uh, the, the upcoming weeks. We're really looking forward to seeing all of you again or many of you again and uh, hope that uh, this answers some of your questions. If not, please feel free to send me a message, mike at hcclenoxville.ca or send me a text message or you can try to give me a call if you want to as well. So uh, we are, uh, like I said, we're looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. Have a great day.